Hello, in this video I'm going to show how you can use Inkscape to create your own print and cut projects. Now I know there are a few ways this can be done and in this video I'm just showing one of the methods. I actually use layers. I'll just open them so you can have a look. I actually work with three layers. So I've got the registration marks, the cut layer, which is the information that's sent to the cutter, and I've got the print layer, which is a layer that's printed. Now I'll cover these in detail in the relevant part. So to show the steps, I'm just going to open a new file that's got the registration marks on. I've already set it as one of my default templates. And there it is. There. Now I need to add my bitmap image. So I'm just going to paste the angel. So now I need to trace this to get the cutting file. So I'm just going to open trace. Now most times I just use brightness cut off. In this case I can because I don't have any background to this image. Threshold, I'll just try it on the default to start with. Now I can see from that image that that's not going to be good enough so I'll just start increasing the threshold. And I can see that I've still got a lot of white areas so I'll just increase the threshold again. Update. OK. Now I can see it is a much better trace. I'll just close trace. And looking closely I can see I've got some gaps. So to save time deleting all those bits I'll just go path, break apart. You can see by these little dashed lines I've got little bits of pieces there. While they're all still selected I'll go path, union. So that is now one piece. With my traced image I actually want to alter it so that it fits the contour of the image the way I want it to. As you can see, that's going to be very hard while it's solid black. Now what I like to do is turn the fill off and just use a stroke line. But you might find you prefer doing it another way. So I'm just going to right click on fill and then just click on remove fill. You can see I've got a very thin black outline. Now of course you can change that colour. I usually try and make it a high contrast colour with the image. In this case I might actually change it. So I'm just going to click on stroke so it opens at stroke paint and select a different colour. Now looking at the red I can see that's going to be pretty easy to see what I'm doing. Looking around it I can see that it's pretty close but there's little areas that when the cut you're going to see the white. You can see this little patch of white here between my red line which is the cutting line and the printed image. So the next step I like to do is inset to just bring that in a little bit closer. Of course if you'd like a big area of white space around your image you would do add set. Now before I do inset I only want to move it a small increment. So I'm going to open Inkscape preferences, find steps. If you look here you can see inset add set and at the moment it's set at one pixel so I'll just try that. So I'll go path, inset, we can see that it's just brought it in just a little bit and I've still got a little tiny bit of white space but I can, I can adjust that manually in a minute. If you happen to like your print and cut projects with a big white area around the image you can alter inset out set to a higher number. So I'll just alter it to say number 6 then I'll go path, out set. You see how easy that was to give a white border around your image? So this part is actually personal preference, but I don't want my image to cut like that, so I'll just go back and we'll close the preferences. Now I like to go around my image and just make any adjustments manually. So here I might just move it in a little bit. Of course for this part I can't give set instructions, it is up to how you want the image to look. Now I'm going to have a little bit of white space here and in here. If I really wanted them cut out I can just draw in my cutting lines. That line's a little bit thick so I'll just change the thickness. Okay I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is just put these into layers to make it easier for when it's printing and for then when it's cutting. So I'll open layers, I'll go layer, 
then right at the bottom to layers. Now at the moment, these are all on layer one. So layer one, I'm going to rename registration marks. What you name it, of course, is your choice. Press enter. Then I'm going to add a new layer and I'll call that the cut layer. Click add. Add another new layer. I'm also going to leave it above current. So it means it will go above the cut. I'll call this one print and click on add. Then I'm just going to click on my cut line. If you're not sure you selected the correct one, just look down here in the notification area. And I can see it's got nodes and I can see it's got a stroke line that's red. So I do know it's a cutting layer. Now I'm going to raise it. So I'll go layer, move selection to layer above. Did you see how this is now gray shaded? Then I'm going to click on the image once again. Can look in the notification section. I can see it is an image. I'm going to raise it twice till it's at the print layer. If you watch this grey shaded area here, you will see as I move the image, it will actually move into the next layer. So it's now in the cut layer. Move to layer above. It's now in the print layer. If you'd like to double check everything's in the correct layer, you can just do it by closing the eye. So if I close the eye on the print layer, you can see my print layer is now hidden. Then I'll close the eye on the cut layer. My cut layer disappeared. Close the eye on the registration layer and they're gone. So let's just open them all. You might find if you're working in layers for the first time, it's a little bit confusing, but after doing it a few times, it really does get easier. I'll just explain some of the advantages of working in layers. Some of the cutting programs don't like bitmap images, so you can just close the eye on the bitmap image, then you don't have to worry about it crashing your program. So you can have it open for printing. Now then, the cutting layer, mine is actually hidden because I've got it smaller than the image. But if you had the cutting layer larger than the image, it would be visible. And when it prints, you don't really want to see it. So you can just close the eye on the cut layer. And the other advantage of layers, this is a padlock here. I like to actually lock the padlock on my registration layer. So when I'm moving things around, I don't accidentally move the registration marks. What I would do at this stage is I would send this document to my printer and print it out. I'll then close the eye on the print image and I'll send it to my cutting program. Depending on the machine you've got, yours will be different. But if you use sign cut, you just go extensions, export, send to sign cut. And there's my cutting file ready for cutting out. I will be listing on my blog some good sources for finding images for print and cut projects. So if you'd like to visit me, my site is cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.